so exciting to see. No doubt about it, David. Thanks. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Two big men inside. Towns and Gobert. Sliding in at the wing, it'll be Edwards and McDaniel. And it's Conley in at the point. And for the Suns, Duran is out there with Nurkic. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Allen in at the three slot. You know, when it comes to the Minnesota Timberwolves, for so long, they've struggled to be competitive. But recently, I think they've started to turn things around. I mean, they've got a nice core. They got a taste of the playoffs recently. And now, look to build on that. Conley with a wide open look. That one off the back iron and out. Towns with the steal. Here's Edwards. Nurkic with the steal. Beal with it. Conley picks him up. And Katie throws it down. Well, the elevation from Durant should come as no surprise there. I mean, he's dangerous above the rim, and he can go way above it, too, folks. Oh, here's Edwards. Conley the pass to Edwards. Shot clock at five. Puts up a three. And the rebound by Nurkic. And for the Timberwolves, Clark getting the number one pick in the 2020 draft certainly helped their turnaround. Yeah, that's um, rocket fuel when you're trying to move up, and they got a good one, a special one in Anthony Edwards. That guy is going to help them take major strides forward. This is an organization clearly on the rise. Towns dishes to come. The Timberwolves working the ball around them. Town showing you the quickness and athleticism there, getting off the floor to throw it down. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous score. The Sun shooting their first free throw of the game here. And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. And you know, a lot of times, guys, in some of their performances last year, their free throw numbers help them win games. You won't find a higher percentage shot in this league. Colbert from ground zero. Colbert with the block. Towns with it, guarded now by Durant. Got that one up quick. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Suns have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Pass to Booker. Launches a three. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got three assists in the game. Hey, guys, how about the dominant young career Carl Anthony Towns is having? Very few can dominate like he can, Kevin. Towns is a monster. I mean, averaging a double-double every year of his career so far. So valuable in what he brings to the table. And that one is good. And the deft touch from Booker. I love when he gets fancy and lofts it up there like that. Here's Conley. Gobert trying to get open. Conley gets the bucket. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Nurkic finds Booker. Another three for Phoenix. And with Booker's mechanics and confidence, you're always going to assume he's going to make that. So the Timberwolves coming in into the playoffs last season, certainly for the Phoenix Suns. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second round exit after a grueling game seven. So this season might be revenge time for this group. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Bowl, he's checked in for Nurkic, and O'Neal subbed in for Allen. Durant, it's rebounded by Towns. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Near the three-point line, it's Booker and the wing jumper offline. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. And the foul called on Edwards. That is his first foul of the game. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. And like his father, Manute, Bowles' combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. Outside, Edwards. There's the... Oh, 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 yeah! 
Watch out now. Look out below. Edwards That's rising to the rim. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights 16. for Phoenix. He got the double digits for the quarter with 10 points. 13. And please give a big round of applause. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And from what we've seen, guys, from the Suns, uh, what are you thinking so far? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. They've got Bradley Beal, always out there with Durant. Then there's Devin Booker, and it's a Kogi in at the three, the small four. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad hooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying, and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Good advice. David, thanks. And Phoenix making a change here. Drew Banks has checked in. Well, great, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, luck can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a way to win, oftentimes you do. And when he's got that much of a height advantage on the perimeter, it's really tough on the defender. Easy three-pointer. Beal against Morris. Just five on the clock. With three, Booker rebounded by the Timberwolves to the paint. And Morris throws it down. Timeout. Capable of finding his open guys. Edwards getting Phoenix. better at improving his overall floor awareness. Some changes here for the Timberwolves. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in for Monte Morris. Like when it comes to running the pick and roll, Monte Morris is more than capable, isn't he? Yeah, Kevin, he's got such great feel and pace. See, that's what some young players don't understand. You can't go 100 miles an hour all the time. you got to play with pace as well as smarts. And he's got a really good feel for how to navigate those two areas well. Conley, the pass to Reed. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Reeves got the lead up to four now for the Timberwolves. Passes to Eubanks. Back to Booker. Suns moving the ball around. Count the basket. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The dish to Towns. Inside. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Conley's got his second basket of the game. And he's been a terrific point guard in this league for a long time. Mike Conley just knows how to play. Well, he's got such a nice combination. The length and the soft touch from close range, that's hard to deal with. And Towns, the bucket on the assist from Conley. Assisted. Towns has got the lead back up to four now for Minnesota. Out of bounds, Minnesota takes possession. And the Timberwolves making a change here. McDaniels checked in. Jaden McDaniels. There's 45 Time seconds out. left in the first half. Out of bounds, Phoenix takes possession. It's stolen by Edwards. It's good, only a few seconds into the shot clock. Edwards got four points this quarter. Well, that's an extremely hard shot to defend if Edwards can master the pull-up. Watch out now, it would be a real weapon for him. Phoenix, no good that time either. Minnesota leading by six. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. McDaniels gets to Conley. Down low. Here's Towns. And Towns throws it down. And, you know, Conley developed great vision in terms of the floor, and that allows him to spot an open teammate. Look, that's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got four assists in the game. And so it's Minnesota. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. 
And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, underneath in the post, Towns and Gobert. Sliding in at the wing, it'll be Edwards and McDaniel. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. Shoots from 12. Edwards, Anthony that's Edwards. good. Edwards got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Timberwolves. And the assets traded by the Wolves for Rudy Gobert surprised a lot of people. In essence, five first round picks, three of them unprotected. They better hope this thing works out. A lot right now. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. A three pointer, no good. The old finds KD. He gets that one. And that's 10 points for KD. Looking strong to the finish when Durant locks in on scoring. Nobody's stopping it. Oh, and there's the foul. It's on Josh Akoka on the Suns call time. Who wants a teacher? Fans, please give a big round of applause for your Suns youth dance team. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's Conley. Rebound by the Suns. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. Booker's shot is good. And really, Booker is as lethal as they come from deep. Can't allow him to get into a groove. Towns kicks to McDaniel. Oh, Towns close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. First it's foul. his first trip to the line. Second team foul. That one is off. Jordan McLaughlin's checked in for Mike Conley. Taking two shots. And the second free throw. Good. Here's Booker. 17 points in the game. Pass to Okogi. For the tie. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one is on Towns. No easy way to hold KD down. He's slick. He's slippery. He's smooth with the ball. That's why he draws foul. Phoenix shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. For Minnesota, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Here's McLaughlin. He's covered by Beal. Back to McDaniel. Foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal foul. The Timberwolves shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. The free throw drops from McDaniel. Minnesota, Minnesota making McDaniels. some changes. He Two comes shots. in for Carl Anthony Towns and Nikhil Alexander Walker in for Edwards. And you can see that even though he ties the game up, disappointed he couldn't give him the lead. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. Back to Reed. Five on the clock. Here's McDaniels. Another miss by Minnesota. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And it's Jaden McDaniels with the foul. Second That'll be his foul. second foul of the game. And, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Splashed them one after another. It really was quite a display from the strike. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. And the pass to McDaniels. And here's Reed, guarded by KD. Reed, the pass to McLaughlin. And he makes good on the layup. Jordan That's McLaughlin. the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. The rebound by the Timberwolves. 
Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Alexander Walker. Eubanks grabs the miss. Here's the Suns with the ball. They're on a 16-4 run right now. Much contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Defensive foul. Kogi with his athleticism Nazi. and attacking nature. Second person. Able to draw fouls quite a bit, and that gets him a fair number of and one chances. Buries it from three-point range. Watch. Alexander Walker's got himself on the board with three there. The Bulls from the top of the key. They get it back. Durant. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Yeah, with platinum level all around skills, Durant can pretty much score at will. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for Phoenix. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. Back right after this. Anybody's walking. Bradley Beal is out there with Allen. Then it's O'Neal. Then there's Bull. Anthony and it's Nurkic Andrew. in its center. Three points who's out there for Phoenix. You know, Edwards is still tweaking his three-point shot, but it sure looked good there. Bull kicks to Allen. Another three for Phoenix. Here we go. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Suns? Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And another area they've separated themselves has been their three-point shooting, making the defense pay for any airspace. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. One thing you've got to love about Grayson Allen is his confidence. For sure, and every good player has great confidence. And with Grayson, it shows up beyond the arc. I mean, we've watched him naturally morph into a volume three-point shooter. And every team values having a guy like him because he can really stretch the floor and create good spacing for your offense. Gordon's checked in for O'Neal. Hey, like a lot of guys, Edwards rides momentum as a player. When his confidence is soaring, so is his activity level. Beal deciding where to go with it. Five to shoot. Here's Gordon. That shot off. Great D that time from Edwards. Over in the corner, McDaniels. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And he makes the first. The Suns making a switch here. Thomas is checked in. And McDaniels drops them both. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Gordon, the pass to Allen. Thomas, so an open look, gets the three-pointer to fall. Thomas got himself going there, his first points of the game with the deep ball. And the shot is good, the Phoenix lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Edwards. Boy, how about the strength of Edwards, confident in taking on defenders and finishing. Pass to Norkic, dishes to Allen. There's the three. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got five rebounds tonight. McDaniels passes to come and stolen by Bull. Thomas kicks to Gordon. Towns with the steal. McDaniels finds Towns and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Big bucket for him there. Towns at the line with the team on his broad back when he's needed most. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Durant's checked in for Bull. Devin Booker comes in for Eric Gordon. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Isaiah Thomas to take the lead. And it's laid in by Edwards. Edwards got 13 points in the second half. At every level, Edwards has been the go-to guy. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. 
What you got for us, D.A.? The guys, during that last break, I listened to the Suns coach address his team. When he's pushing them to empty the tank, he said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed, guys. All right, David, thanks. Time laid the pass to McDaniels. For three, Edwards knocks down the three. And he is built to be the man for this team. Edwards answering the bell and executes. Phoenix calls timeout. They're trailing by five. 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Phoenix, get on your feet and give a warm welcome to you, Sun Dancer. A big cheer for your Sun Dancer. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they double up Allen. Good. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Well, Durant knows the team looks to him for this. These kinds of moments, the intensity of the moment, never rallies. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. And so it's Katie with it. He brings up the ball for Phoenix. It counts. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. All eyes are on Conley, a normally confident shooter. Can he sink the free throw? Here's Booker. Missed. Ooh, off one. And so it's the Timberwolves who come out on top here. They break the hearts of every fan.